Against an army of zombies, no armies could stand. Why, even blown half to bits, undaunted by fire and gas, zombies would fight on so long as the brain cells which receive and execute commands still remained intact. With the month of October already here, one thing we have to ask, could the country experience a zombie apocalypse? According to the Center for Disease Control, people need to prepare for a zombie outbreak. At first, the CDC claims it started as a tongue-in-cheek campaign. However, the advice and tips provided are actually a useful resource. This goes for other situations as well, like hurricanes, earthquakes, and floods. The CDC stated on its website, You may laugh now, but when it happens, you'll be glad you read this. NASA climate scientists are warning about the potential resurgence of so-called zombie viruses, or viruses that can come back from the dead. They say warmer conditions are causing part of the Arctic's permafrost to thaw. If it thaws significantly, they say some viruses that have been lying dormant for tens of thousands of years could reemerge and possibly endanger animals and humans. Scientists say the permafrost acts like a time capsule for viruses and the mummified remains of long-gone animals. NASA wants to see climate concerns addressed. While thawed permafrost that has encapsulated diseases from the old world can cause a zombie reaction, there are other ways that would trigger the undead to eat your flesh. For instance, police had to fire four shots at the perpetrator, Rudy Eugene who they believe may have been under the influence of bath salts, a dangerous new street drug, to stop the cannibalistic attack against a homeless man. What is your emergency now? Listen, there's a naked man on the MacArthur's causeway. At the end of the causeway coming forward, this came Boulevard. He is beating another man to a pulp, like on top of the man, beating him. The man is bleeding. Oh, somebody, the somebody's beating on him? They got in his beating I'm, I'm a bus driver. I passed by and I saw what was happening. I'm no, 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 over. Okay, this yep. is, he's been beaten, you said? He's beating another man. It's a naked oh, man, naked man beating, beating another man. I'm beating man. him. Yeah, on the MacArthur Causeway, like towards the Miami Herald, is at the end of the causeway. But he's going to kill that okay. man, I promise you. The next caller, more bemused than anything else. Hi, how you doing? I'm uh, just reporting um, uh, this a naked uh, man uh, in front of the uh, Miami Herald building next to the highway. He's throwing his uh, clothes on the highway. Can't mess him. He's naked. And a third caller. Maybe two bums who are going at it with each other take up the whole lane. I think they're fighting or something. They, they almost knocked over an old lady who was fighting by. The victim, Ronald Popo, 65, was in critical condition after 75% of his face was ripped off and consumed by Eugene. During the majority of the 18 graphic minutes of the attack, Rudy was snarling, almost like a rabbit dog. He consumed Popo's nose, mouth, and eyeballs, which was captured on video from a nearby Miami Herald building. Since Rudy Eugene is of Haitian descent, it's only fair to add how the word zombie was introduced. In Haitian folklore, zombies are said to be the result of spells cast by a voodoo sorcerer known as a bokor. The term is thought to have come from West Africa and was introduced to Haiti by slaves from that continent. With the development of the voodoo religion, the idea of zombies would advance further. Was it really some crazy drug that made Rudy Eugene get naked and chew on the face of a homeless man? Or was he possessed by a zombie spirit? Beyond the obvious myth of the dead coming back to life, how would you feel if another way that the zombie apocalypse can kick off is through a pandemic. The Department of Health and Human Services has declared a public health emergency as a precautionary tool to ensure that we have the resources we need at our disposal to respond quickly and effectively.
Health Organization first categorized COVID-19 as a pandemic more than a year ago. The most crucial lesson, though, may be that we were totally unprepared to deal with the crippling infection. This prompts some ominous ideas. What if the danger wasn't COVID-19, but rather a pathogen that had been genetically altered to make humans become zombies, agitated ghost-like creatures with little awareness of their surroundings? Recent developments in gene editing may make it possible for bioterrorists to create viruses that can change human behavior, spread an illness like this, and ultimately kill us. And it's likely that we still wouldn't be well enough equipped to handle it. What if the zombie apocalypse is started due to a specific drug? After all, Rudy Eugene enjoyed human flesh while being high out of his mind, right? New tonight, a warning from the state about a growing number of overdoses from the so-called zombie drug. It's called the zombie drug because it causes excessive drowsiness and can sometimes even rot skin to the bone. Drugs like cocaine or heroin are combined with an animal tranquilizer called xylazine. And unlike most overdoses, Narcan does not work in reviving the patient. The Department of State Health Services tells KHOU police across the state are seeing more of these cases. So now the state is warning health care providers so they'll be aware when Narcan does not work. The Drug Enforcement Agency, DEA, reports that xylazine and fentanyl are frequently combined making fentanyl even more hazardous. According to Ann Milgram, administrator of the DEA, xylazine is making the deadliest drug threat our country has ever faced, fentanyl, even deadlier. Addicts are attempting to produce a high more like heroin or oxycodone that lasts longer. Under all of these circumstances, the drugs, the thawing of ancient viruses, the gene editing and forced vaccinations, is it only a matter of time before we see a zombie apocalypse? And how ready will you be? Don't forget to like and subscribe.